basically the first thing I like to do when I bring them in the house is get them all cleaned up so that way I can get the curing process started. If you don't know what the curing process is, it's pretty much drying up your potatoes to thicken up the skins to allow for better storage. So what I like to do is pretty much grab each potato, inspect it for, you know, scoring, any types of damage, holes, any types of mushiness, soft spots, looking for any type of disease that can possibly infect any of the other potatoes when I get ready to store them. So what I like to do is grab my brush. And if you don't have one of these, it's a simple brush you can get at, like at Home Depot or something like that. But uh, I'll look at each of one of my potatoes and I'll just give them, you know, a quick brush, getting that dirt off of there, not pushing down too hard. We don't want to injure the potato or bruise it in any type of way. Um, so going over every single potato, wiping off the dirt and every one you find with the whole a score mark, some type of discrepancy in the potato, this one here has a minor hole in it. So go ahead and just place it off to the side. You know, the ones that do have marks in them and stuff like that, they can be still eaten. You just have to eat them a lot faster than say the ones without the problems and stuff like that. So, and so on, you're gonna want to go through all your potatoes getting off that dirt. And the way I like to do it too, is I like to put the larger ones, you know, set them in a row from largest to smallest potatoes. Larger potatoes are gonna store a lot longer than the smaller potatoes. Another thing, when you're getting ready to cure your potatoes, you're gonna to wanna to do it in a place where it's relatively dark. No sunlight at all. Sunlight is a potato's worst enemy. So, when I say enemy, have you ever seen a potato that is green? Well, actually that green part of the potato can be mildly poisonous, depending on how green it is. Well, that was caused by sunlight or type of light. So when you cure them, you're gonna wanna place your potatoes in a very dark place, in an area, you know, such as a cardboard box. You're gonna want to cure your potatoes on average from anywhere from 10 to 14 days. But during that process, it's gonna allow time for any blemishes, any scoring to heal over. It's gonna allow the skin to really thicken up to allow it to prepare for longer term storage. So you're gonna wanna do all these things to your potatoes to extend the life of them as far as storage goes. And that's if you have a lot of potatoes. Now this to you may not be a lot of potatoes, but for people who don't eat a lot of potatoes, it might be enough to last them through the winter. It is also recommended that you do not wash them until you're ready to eat them. Washing them just adds moisture to them, which does not make good because you want to store these. And moisture, moisture aids in, you know, obviously rot, mold, so you don't want moldy potatoes is all I'm trying to say. Inspect them real good. Look for holes. Another hole here. So anything with a hole in, obviously you're going to want to, you know, eat first, chop it open, inspect it. Make sure you don't got any type of pest in there and stuff like that. And pretty much go through every single potato. And as you can see here, this potato kind of scored a little bit, the skin came off, but that's what the curing process is for. It's gonna allow the skin on this potato to heal up, thicken up over those 10 days to be good for storage. So that's what we want. Now, at the same time, we're gonna wanna eat this a lot sooner than these other potatoes here because the skin has been broken here, but we will see, just make a mental note of that. You know, any potatoes with imperfections must be eaten first. Now you don't have to be 
as thorough as I am with the cleaning process, but you just kind of want to get all the dirt off, give every part of the potato, you know, a brush. You want to get most of it off, you wash it. So when you go to eat it, you knowing that all the dirt, most of it at least, has been brushed off. So I'm a first time gardener, I'm still learning. My recommendation is don't be afraid to try new things when it comes to gardening. If I can do it, you can definitely do it too, is all I'm trying to say. You just gotta be willing to read a lot, do a lot of research, you know, and not take every downfall and get pissed off about it because it's gonna happen. You're gonna mess up. You're gonna make mistakes. It's all about learning from those mistakes and you can never be too sure when it comes to things. Maybe you might be overwatering something, underwatering it. You really have to learn to read your plants, pay attention to them. They are always trying to tell you something is what uh, I'm trying to get at. So don't expect to be good at things your first time. There's always something to learn is what I'm trying to say. You don't want to throw away your money. Whoa. You don't want to waste your water. See this one here has a little score in it. So I'm going to put that one off to the side too. I know I don't get into much detail about the potatoes, but um, you know, there's really not much to it. I mean, the biggest thing is making sure your plants are watered, making sure they're getting fertilizer, making sure they're getting sunlight, making sure you're not overwatering making sure you're not overhead watering and getting your foliage all wet. You don't want something like leaf blight going around, which is a type of disease. You don't want those spreading to the other plants. So you really have to pay attention, like I said, to what you're doing. So I'm gonna try to knock all these out of the ballpark, get them really, really cleaned up, and then I will show you how I will let them cure over the next 10 to 14 days. Like I said, the small ones, the small ones you're just gonna want to uh, go ahead and uh, maybe throw in, a, throw in a pan first, eat those up first. These are not gonna store very well or last as long, so you wanna get to the small ones first, like I said. And one thing too, don't be throwing your potatoes around. Potatoes bruise easily. I just wanna let you know that, so. The process of cleaning up all the white potatoes are pretty much done. I'll put all the small ones over here because scored ones, small ones, pretty much same concept. You wanna eat those ones first. So, got everything cleaned up. I'll dump the rest of this dirt out of the box. Get my box back nice and clean again. So, what I'm gonna wanna do is pretty much wrap each potato for the curing process. So that's all I'm gonna do. That keeps the sunlight out. This paper keeps the potatoes away from each other. That way if they do develop some type of disease, they will not infect each other. So that's all I'm doing. This is just my way of doing it. Your way may be different. This way may be too time consuming for you. You know, it's a process. Uh, doing like this, doing things like this take time, but if you wanna store them longer, you're gonna have to put in the work. Now you can also, like I said, I got this 12 pack cardboard box, Was had some soda cans in it. You can just stuff them in there too. Now this is going to assure you that you're not gonna get any type of light in here. And that's what I'll do here. I'll take these potatoes, put them in here. You start getting light in these, then they start to sprout. We don't want them to sprout either. So we want a cool, dark place for these potatoes. Pretty simple process. Just fill up the box, put it away for 10 days, come back to it, check to see how thick the skin is, if it's good to go. 
your potatoes are good to go for the long run. And like I said, you may have more potatoes in, than this, so this may not be an option for you. Something else may be more beneficial to you. Maybe you have a different uh, style of storing, but for me, this is what I'll do. So that's pretty much it. So I know it seems like a lot to do, but in the long run, I think it'll be more beneficial. So when I'm done with these, I'll go ahead and just put a date on it. Say, hey, today is July 15th. Check on these July 25th, 2020. If you're curious, check on those skins. And make sure everything's okay. So this is pretty much it for this video. I have showed you how I will cure my potatoes and store them and get them ready for storage for the long run. Obviously, like I said, I don't have a lot of potatoes, so there won't be much of storing anything. I think I'll get to these before I have to store them for the long run because, uh, you know, during this time, I don't want to go out right now, so I'll be eating what I can um, as far as that goes. And I got some taters, so I might have me some good dishes with these. But nonetheless, thanks for watching, guys. This is Mopar for Life saying, hey, get out there, garden, get that harvest in, bring them inside, clean them up, inspect them, get them to cure, get them ready for the storing process. That's pretty much it. You've seen it. Be safe out there. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good one. Peace. Feel this. Uh huh. For $250. Uh huh. What? Ow. $250 for this.